subscribe to my pen info media youtube channel to watch the documentaries and click on the bell icon for latest updates Baghdad was founded in the 8th century when it became the capital of the Abbasid dynasty. Thousands of architects, engineers and ordinary laborers were employed to create the round and fortified city of Baghdad by the river Tigris. Four equidistant gates led to the center, the Kufa gate to the southwest and the Basra gate to the southeast, both opening to the Surat Canal. The Sham Osiria gate to the northwest and the Khorasan gate to the northeast close to the Tigris. The location was chosen for its critical links in the trade routes. The 8th and 9th centuries are renowned as the golden age of Islam and Baghdad being the capital grew in importance and stature. Fast forward to the 21st century and a lot has changed. Baghdad is still the capital and the most populated city of Iraq, but the sheen has somewhat been lost due to years of war and unrest. To the researcher and historian, it is still a mine of gold. There is a lot to be explored around the city. As expected, you will find several historical monuments and buildings. Not to mention the rare and precious relics and artifacts. And if you care to indulge as I do, it is a real journey thousands of years back in time. Let's not forget that what we studied in our history class as ancient Babylon and Mesopotamia is the present day Iraq. The monuments are stunning to say the least. Baghdad also has some incredibly beautiful churches like the Armenian Orthodox Church of Saint Gregory the Illuminator and the Assyrian Church of Mother Mary, peace be upon her. Be that as it may, there are primarily two reasons why Baghdad will never lose its relevance, they being the two Imams of the Prophet's Ahl al-Bayt. Imam Musa al-Kazim salam and Imam Muhammad Taqi al-Jawad salam resting under the two glorious domes of the Kazman Shrine. They are the seventh and the ninth divinely appointed Imams out of the twelve, grandfather and grandson, resting side by side. Visited by millions of pilgrims from around the world each year, the Kazman Shrine is one of the most important pilgrimage destinations for Muslims. Like the double domes, it is a double delight for me to visit the shrine as a Shia Muslim and as a Sayyid, for both the holy Imams resting in Kazman are my ancestors. If you have been watching my series The Lost Legends, you would know that most of my documentaries are based on the Imam Zadeh, who are the children of these very Imams. Today I will introduce you to the sister of Imam Musa Kazim alayhi salam. For the 26th documentary of the Lost Legends and my first in Baghdad, come with me to the holy shrine of Bibi Maryam, daughter of Imam Jafar Sadiq. Peace be upon them. Her actual name was Asma, but on account of her piety and worship, Imam Jafar Sadiq referred to her as Maryam after the mother of Jesus Christ. Peace be upon him. He also called her Umm Farwa after his own mother after she took charge of women's affairs, a task which was originally entrusted to the mother of Imam Jafar Sadiq She was two years younger to her brother, Imam Musa Kazim He was imprisoned a number of times by the Abbasid Caliph Harun Rashid, subsequently spending quite a few years away from family in various detentions and dungeons. Within the family of the Holy Prophet, peace be upon him, it wasn't uncommon for sisters to take on the hardships of journey for their brothers. It was to help them in their mission, establish faith and to lay the foundation of Islam. Bibi Zainab and Bibi Ume Kulsum did it for Imam Hussain Bibi Fatima Masuma of Qum and various other sisters, 
migrated for Imam Ali Raza a.s. For Imam Musa Kazim a.s. it was Bibi Maryam. Peace be upon them. It is mentioned by Sheikh Shakuri that when Harun Rashid transferred the custody of Imam Musa Kazim a.s. to Sanadi ibn Sahik, Bibi Maryam left Hijaz and migrated to Baghdad to meet her brother. She, along with some Alavi Sadat, settled in the Karada neighborhood. But as fate would have it, Imam Musa Kazim al-Salam was poisoned in the dungeons of the Abbasid Caliph Harun al-Rashid. His body, while still in chains and shackles, was paraded through the streets of Baghdad and abandoned for three days on the al rufasa Bridge. The bridge, now known as the Aima Bridge, has become a mourning site where devotees come to pay respect to Imam Musa Kazim a.s. I am unaware if Bibi Maryam was ever able to see her brother alive, but she hadn't stayed for long when she received the news of his martyrdom. Nor do I know if she could attend his funeral, which only took place after the intervention of Suleiman bin Abi Jafar al-Mansur, the uncle of the Caliph, who sent his sons to seize the body from the Caliph's men. What I do know is that she did not live for too long after that and passed away in the same year, that was 183 Hijri. The shrine is rather unique given that it is located in a residential area. We know of residences coming up around shrines over the centuries, but here is a shrine that has come up among the buildings. It gives the feeling of being at a country home, except that there is a green dome indicating the presence of a holy personality resting below. A brief look at history will solve the puzzle. When the process of digging was undertaken in this area for the construction of apartments, a green dome was found. Initially, it was thought to be a mosque, but for the removal of clusters and bushes, revealed a buried tomb. The inscription on the gravestone read, Maryam bint Jafar Sadiq a.s. Haji Kamil al Hamadani, a local scholar, identified the shrine as that of Bibi Maryam bint Imam Jafar Sadiq and authenticated it by various proofs, including regional. Early records suggest the presence of a shrine that was visited by women and children. There is, however, no explanation as to how it disappeared. Sheikh al Shukuri has mentioned an old local farmer named Abbas al Awad who said that he was informed by his ancestors that this shrine belonged to Bibi Maryam, who was the daughter of Imam Jafar Sadiq a.s. A Turkish man living in the locality claimed that Bibi Maryam came in his dreams and thanked all the people who rediscovered her shrine. Indeed, what an upholder of trust and what a great manifester of hidden treasures the earth is. Who knows what secrets she hides in the breast and what treasures that may be revealed after the reappearance of Imam al-Mahdi a.s. To those of you who travel to Damascus to visit the shrine of Bibi Zainab alayha, and to Qum to visit the shrine of Bibi Fatima Masuma alayha, the shrine of Bibi Maryam alayha, is located merely 13 kilometers from the shrine of her brother, Imam Musa Kazim a.s. here in Baghdad. There is a tree just behind the shrine, within the precinct, that bleeds on the martyrdom anniversary of Bibi Fatima Salamulaleha. I filmed two weeks after that, and the blood had still not dried. Salams to all.